I assume you don't think the Earth is flat, do you, Jonathan? <laughs> uh... I guess I was going to ask you, what do you think about this age of uh, continued conspiracies? Do you see them as distractions, or is this the, the, the collective consciousness really starting to search as a traditional or sensible reality or the the official narrative of the world just makes less and less sense. What, what do you think? Uh, well, I don't think the earth is flat. <laughs> Good. I agree with everything else about that though. It's definitely what the Bilderberg group called a post truth world that we're living in now. Uh, there's a plethora or pleroma of, of information available online. Uh, and most of it is mythic and fictional, uh, modern conspiracy theories being a form of uh, contemporary mythology even. Uh, nevertheless, a lot of it is true in the sense that it has a moral, uh, a useful moral uh, value. Uh, and a lot of it is just misinformation or disinformation. For example, Q, uh, the QAnon phenomenon uh, that we've seen so be so influential recently. Uh, I'd speculate that that might be a, an artificial intelligence uh, program itself that is releasing these uh, drops of data or these uh, files of information. Uh, it certainly doesn't seem to be a group of normal thinking people. Uh, and from what little I've seen of it, it does seem more like a chatbot in the way it words uh, things and in the way it uh, so-called thinks. <laughs>